Hi everyone, I'm Lara Gento. Uh, thank you for joining us for Bot Games. Today, I am here with Rafael, and he's going to share a little bit about his journey as an RPA developer. Hello, Rafael. Hi guys, my name is Rafael Lima, and I am RPA developer at Accenture in Brazil. Nice, and how did you learn about RPA? I got interested in automation when I worked as a trainee in administration sector using Excel and SAP and extracting or creating the reports and confirming product delivery data. It was a very robust routine being done by humans. Uh, at the time, I, I read about VBA and mm -hmm. I was already studying computer science. So I decided to search and I could find out that VBA could auto automate the type of task I was doing. So I started mm -hmm. studying and deepen my knowledge of it, then manage it to automate start the process. Nice. And since then, I really like the, the idea of automating things, making them faster and error free. So that's when I really got to know the RPA word and automation word. Awesome. Uh, how did you get your start in RPA? I started studying using the official automation in your channels such as automation in our university uh, mm -hmm. to learn the basics and since the beginner friendly learning trails um, make it then easier for new people and also watching RPA content on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, to practice, I joined to bot games in August last year and had the opportunity to build bots in scenarios close to real life situations. And it was a very nice experience because seeing the community sharing the many different ways to build the same bot motivates me to dig and learn even more on how to optimize and use the different packets in my code. And nice. That, that did happen a lot. I saw many um, developers on LinkedIn improving the, their bot and their times and accuracy. So that's very cool to hear. Yes, and also this, uh, with the support and influence of people close to me who already worked in, with automation where in September, uh, I started at Accenture API developer, already working on projects for customers. Nice, so bot games in August, being hired in September, so looks like you're on a roll. Um, so um, what are tips and suggestions that you would say to someone getting started with RPA today? So I, I would say get your hands dirty, um, like create your own code from your day-to-day -day stuff, just to practice. And that way you can understand how automation packets and actions work while also improve your logic and reach out to experienced people to guide you in forums like a people uh, try out uh, the automation videos tutorials or mm -hmm. get involved in rpa groups and this helps a lot to answer questions and get great trips for uh, sure um it's i think it's we're always uh stronger you know and better when we're together you know as a community we have to reach out to you know other developers and just like get to know each other and talk and you know exchange tips as you mentioned so that's uh, that's very cool uh, and, and also attending events like bot games it's a very mm -hmm. great experience because the other people will perform the challenge in different and more efficient ways and give you the opportunity to ask questions and learn new things for sure uh that's awesome uh, Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing a little bit of your journey as an RPA developer. Um, and if you'd like to see more content and tutorials and webinars, go to developer.automationanywhere.com for more content like this. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.